What's up, beautiful besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Really stoked to get into a reading for y'all. Um, yeah, we'll just see what the incoming vibe is for the day. Well, hopefully they are messages that you need to hear at the moment. And just a little quick reminder, I know most of us know this and we've heard it a million times, but honestly, not every reading is going to be for every person every day. All right, so let's try not to get all in a panic if it's not for us, okay? And if it if it's not for you, I would really so appreciate it if y'all would be kind to the folks who, you know, the reading is meant for, right? Not everybody is on the same path. Not everyone is experiencing the same thing on their journey. So let's just try to build each other up and not make anyone feel bad or anything like that in the comments. Okay, y'all, I would really appreciate it. Um, we do have such an amazing tribe here and it is my 100%. It is my intention to foster a sense of community and support for one another as we navigate, you know, this game of life. Okay. So that being all said, I really just want to send my love and appreciation to each and every Every one of you who is already doing that um, and who's just, you know, here spending a portion of your day with me, it means the world, okay? So I'm going to ring the sound bowl, I'll call it spirit, and then we will get into your messages. Here we go. Okay, I'm calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection. Whoops. For myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Y'all, that was just a whole lot of, I have no idea, but... Uh, if it's meant to come out again, it will. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my deck is, no, it's not upside down. Okay, well, let's see. Please, spirit. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take it. This is a lot. Um, we are experiencing some type of change here. Um, this energy really wants to come out. I'm pretty sure I spied on it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I spied on it um, during that first flip, but I want to make sure that was just, again, a lot. Maybe you're, um, maybe you're feeling like a lot is going on around you at the moment. Um, a lot of things are changing. A lot of people are changing. A lot of people are going through, um, yeah, some major transformations at the moment. I do love seeing the will energy come forth because this is really speaking to... Um, Somebody is, it's making things change. You're making things shift, you know. Uh, you really are in alignment with your own personal power and you know how to enact change in your world, okay? So you're not just sitting there kind of accepting what life is throwing at you. I mean, there's one thing to go with the flow and to be in that surrender, okay? But there's other times when we have to go out and participate in um, creating and enacting some kind of change in our world, especially if we want to see um, something different come into play, right? Okay, so you are um, aligning with your own will, and I feel like you're making things happen, okay? What do we have here? We have focus. It did want to come up in the reverse, but um, that's not really a big deal. <laughs> For me, it is such a, I gotta be honest with you, focus will always come up in the reverse. It could have just been my energy on these cards because I really do have a hard time <laughs> uh, focusing my energy and I have learned that that is because I I definitely have a, like a late diagnosis of ADHD. So that for me is a thing. But if it is for you, awesome. At least we know and we can manage it. <laughs> uh, we can manage it. Um, but yes, uh, remaining focused, okay? Trying not to lose focus or uh, getting yourself back on track or you know, it, it is, can be somewhat of a challenge, all right? And maybe that just is the message for some of you today is uh, trying not to lose focus on what you want to see happening, okay, in your world, especially if things are feeling a little bit chaotic, okay, and a lot of things going on all at once, right? Uh, we can tend to lose focus, but the message is obviously here. Let's try to remain with our eye on the prize, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we also have acceptance energy, Okay, now that also wanted to come up in the reverse. So um, 
<laughs> we'll see. We'll see here. We'll see what that talks about. I want to put it up right because we are accepting. Maybe some of you, I don't know. There's this feeling with acceptance. It's like you could be accepting help from someone else or you can be giving help and you're you're wanting something someone to accept help from you. Or it's just an overall vibe of accepting the things that we cannot change and that kind of thing, right? Like I, I know there is a, it's a prayer out there, right? There's like, I think it's called the serenity prayer. Um, you know, anyways, I don't know why that was coming through. Um, yeah, there's something about focusing on your end game, accepting the things that you can't change and using your power, your own will to create the things that you want to see in your world. So this is a little bit of a theme going on today. I'm going to use some tarot to get some details and let's just start with what the incoming energy of the day is for you. Okay, so what is the incoming energy here, Spirit, for those of you who are tuning in? What is it? Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, this lets me know that you are actually in a really good spot right now where you are feeling very solid and very grounded with what you have created for yourself in your world, right? Now, this could be financially. This could be just a sense of independence. This could be talking about, hey, I'm single. I'm feeling good, right? I'm loving life on my own. I'm providing to myself the things that I need. I'm focusing on my, my own path, my own journey, my own pleasure, my own will like you know just really focusing on the self and it's a good thing and it's a very good thing and it's not saying that you're selfish it's saying that you know you've put a lot of time and energy and effort into building yourself up to this point where, where you are and and you are a very very appreciative of you know uh, where you are okay in the moment okay um, again you, or maybe just really remaining very thankful and in an attitude of gratitude as well uh, but yeah you didn't just land here by accident you know you really poured in a lot of hard work to get to where you are so I do want you to congratulate yourself I do want you to be proud of yourself you should be really proud of yourself and you know what I'm proud of you too so congratulations um, I love this energy for you okay very strong, very independent, and um, your will is very strong at the moment as well. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat with this energy, not going to lie. Usually, it does speak to one thing being missing, right? And it usually is our uh, divine partner or that sense of that one true love, right? Or that um, commitment. Now, some of you are saying, hey, I'm not even interested in that, and that's okay, uh, but the the general overall vibe of the card is I'm still I'm I'm not panicking about having not met that person yet or not being in the relationship, but um, I would like to be you know I would like to be with someone who you know will compliment me and be um, and, and by that I don't mean just like tell you that you're beautiful or tell you that you're smart tell you that you're awesome um, <laughs> compliment you as far as energetically somebody who matches where you are. Are, okay at this stage in your life so um there is usually that now let's see what what the vibe of today is going to be this is overall where you are what is the vibe of today Ooh, that's nice today you could find yourself um being celebrated or going taking yourself out on a date maybe you're getting together with some friends maybe you're having um some kind of whatever, maybe you've got a little party to go to or a dinner party or an engagement or something going on. For some of you, traditionally, it's like a baby shower or it could be like a wedding shower or a bachelorette party. It usually does uh, speak to a gathering of feminine energies, okay? Um, but usually it's in celebration of yourself or one of you, right? Could be someone's birthday even. Um, but there is going to be some very happy reunion, happy moments where I feel like um, if you're not getting together with other people, you are in the energy of celebrating yourself and victories, okay, that you have accomplished, right? Um, for some of you, it could even be going out for some drinks. Now, that would a little bit make sense with losing focus, okay? Um, it just, I don't know why Spirit just showed me. I don't know if y'all remember this um, Don't Drink and Drive advert that was like, I don't know if it was like the 90s or something where it was like, Someone was driving and it was like a POV and then like one glass of beer or one glass of wine comes into the focus. I don't know why I am seeing that, but it could be a little bit of a 
warning, you know, maybe take it easy, <laughs> maybe not so sleazy, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, for some of us, we can lose our focus, especially if we overindulge. Usually, there's a little bit of that with the three of cups, okay? Now, um, how are you going to feel today? What's going on with your feelings? Oh my goodness, this is a good time. Um, four of Wands. Look, at whoever's reading this is, you're feeling pretty good today. This is a good day for you. The Four of Wands is not only are you, you could be celebrating some kind of victory. Maybe you've just like uh, found the um, home of your dreams or maybe you're moving in with someone or someone in your circle is doing that. You know, there could be an engagement or a marriage or um, maybe someone you, someone you love, someone you care about is partnering up. Maybe that's you, right? Maybe that's you. Maybe you hear from somebody uh, that you really that you really are excited to reunite with. Okay, now in a love reading, I would say that this would be like a union energy. Okay, coming together. It can talk about engagements and stuff, but in in overall, it is also speaking to an a general feeling of happiness and well being. Um, and also stability, okay? All the fours talk about stability. You are feeling, like I said, there's a, an energy of being very, very grounded and very happy um, with where you are. So um, when we talk about maybe meeting your match, there could be an opportunity where you do run into someone uh, who does complement your energy, uh, maybe at an outing or one of these, you know, celebrations that you might be attending. Now, if this is not for today because sometimes when we read especially when we're reading together on the daily or the almost daily here folks um this could be something that recently happened that's happening now or that can happen you know uh in the short term future okay in the near future is what i mean to say so this is a very beautiful energy that is surrounding you, okay, in your life, um, and it's very nice, okay? Um, if you did resonate with the Divine Feminine reading of yesterday, I just feel like um, it was a heavier feeling yesterday. Uh, today is more of a lighthearted, okay, I've got this kind of an energy. And of course, the energies do fluctuate, and we do pick up on different collectives as well here, okay? But I just wanted to say that. Um even though we're seeing all this really good stuff going on for you, um, I would like to see if there are any challenges. So let's go forward with that. Are there going to be any challenges that you need to know about? Is there going to be any challenges that you need to know about as you go through this lovely day? Maybe something that will cause you to lose focus besides maybe the overindulging, if that's something that you find yourself doing, okay? Not for everyone, but it can happen when you get together and you're having a good time, right? Okay, I just heard let the good times roll. So challenge, we have death, challenging in energy, but we also have strength that wanted to come out with that uh, death energy. This is talking to the change, but look at the bottom of the deck. I just got to show you this shiny 10 of cups, which is so beautiful. So I'm just going to put it down here. Hold on a second. Okay, so since we did ask what the challenge is going to be and we got the death energy, I just first want to point out that that is likely the change that is taking place. Um, and it's very interesting how we have the same type of energy next to one another. We have death and strength and change and will. Now, strength correlates to using your will, right, as well. Tapping into your strength, um, not giving into any sort of temptations, right? But I need to get a little bit of clarity, um, and I'm going to use the Sibila to do that, okay? Uh, but I also wanted to <laughs> to uh, say what I what I think here and what I feel is with the focus and the Ten of Cups coming out. Um, no matter what we've, no matter what comes out here to clarify what this change is going to be and how you may need to tap into that inner strength that you have, that strength of will that you have today. Um, the focus still must remain on what is your end game? What is your end goal? Uh, the Ten of Cups does represent your happiest state, okay? Your happiest emotional state, your joy, your bliss. It, it's what we all strive for, okay? It's your happily ever after. It's what, you know, what you're working towards. It's your why, okay? It's your why you are so strong, why you are so 
why you can power through whatever change this is and it is coming up as a challenge so let's just try to clarify what that could be because we do need to know <laughs> we do need to know spirit what is this change having to do with please give me three cards from the Sibila we have important revelation important revelation coming through we also have loss of money oh dear okay hold on and then we have waiting waiting i want some more on the loss of money tenderness now loss of money this could be loss of energy about a house hmm you know i feel like this is very interesting this is very interesting here. I feel like, okay, this is going to be very specific. And oftentimes with the, with the Sibila, that's where things get really specific here. Uh, let me just take one more. We have enemy. Look, there may be some type of competition. Now let's go back for a minute where I was talking about if this is like you aligning with like the house of your dreams or the home of your dreams or something along those lines. Uh, maybe you're trying to buy a house. If you, you know, if that's something that you're doing or, um, you're applying for a lease or something like that, okay? Um, if that is the case here, you may run into um, someone or you may see that someone is trying to uh, or is competing with you, okay? There's competition here. Um, I do feel like there's, uh, I don't want to say there's going to be a wrench that is thrown into your plan, but I feel like you're going to receive some type of information that kind of makes... Well, it makes things more difficult for you, but I feel like I feel like it's going to end up costing a lot more than you had anticipated. Okay, I feel like whatever this is, it's yeah, it's like it's costing more. If it's not money, it's something that's going to be costing you more time, more energy. It's going to take more out of you. Okay, in order to uh, pursue this. See, for some of you, it's not a house. For some of you, it's a relationship. For some of you, it's a relationship. And this is the change. It's like you you start to understand that it's going to take up more of your time or more of your effort or even more of money than you had anticipated. Also, you may discover that there is some type of um, person or competition. Somebody is working against you in a way. Now, I'm not sitting here telling you... Um, you know, that you got all these people and all these enemies and you got to watch out and be like on edge or anything like that. I feel like this is the reason, whatever this challenge, however it manifests for you today, it is going to throw you off. It's going to feel like, ah, oh, shit, I wonder if I can do this. You might have some doubts. You might feel like, oh, I don't know if this is right, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like you really do want this. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a home, whether it's a specific place to live or, um, you know, a, a, anything like that, okay? Um, you really want it, okay? You really want this to work out. So I feel like you're you're kind of um, taking a moment to, to readjust and to make sure that, hey, yeah, okay, I need to keep my focus. I need to keep my eyes on the prize here. I need to um, not worry about it. I need to, I need to tap into maybe some um, affirmations, or I need to uh, clear my mind and clear my doubt and know that I can do this. Know that this belongs to me. You know, um, really start working with the spoken word and your feelings and your intention, um, and, and just really seeing yourself accomplishing this goal or really seeing yourself, um, you know, I having it okay <laughs> because whatever this is for you it's like you're out here celebrating the fact that you have it already okay so you're like okay maybe it's a job too okay you're like the job's mine the job's mine I got a call for the final interview you know whatever and then you come to find out oh there's also one other person going for it as well um and you're like oh you know maybe I'm not gonna get it no oh, maybe it's not for me and you start doubting yourself or maybe you find out it's way more hours than you thought or you might have to move or something like that you know like it's it's kind of a little bit of a 
just in a little bit, it's it's going to be some type of major shakeup in within that goal of yours, within that dream, within that desire. So um, you are strong enough. Okay, this is the message coming through is that you are strong enough to push through some of those fears, some of those doubts, um, any kind of, um, if it is a financial thing, like if it's going to take up more money than you thought, then you're going to have to uh, roll with it. You're accepting it. Okay. Um, maybe you're like, oh, okay, well maybe I will have to ask for help. Maybe I'll have to get a loan or maybe I'll have to go into debt or maybe I'll, you know, something like that because there was that acceptance energy that came through and it came up in the reverse. So it's like, you don't want to have to lean on anyone else, especially when you are feeling so good on your own. So there is this vibe of like, Ah, you know, like, why couldn't it just happen easy? Uh, but you are strong enough. And so what's going to happen here? It's, it's not, even though it is a major hiccup, I want to say it is, I want to acknowledge that, but I feel like you are going to push past the challenging aspect of it and you are going to gather your resources and you are going to accomplish this. You are going to make it happen regardless because you feel like this belongs to you. All right. You know, it already does. So spirit saying today, try not to lose that focus. Uh, hold that dream, you know, hold that goal in your ideal, uh, in your mind's eye, hold it strong and, uh, don't let this, um, uh, shake up, hiccup. Don't let this stand in your way. Don't let it stop you from pursuing, uh, or just don't let it take you off track, right? Don't let it knock you off track because, um, whatever it is here, let's get an, let, you know, let, let's get an outcome energy. <laughs> this is going to help. If I get an outcome energy for you, let's, or maybe some advice. Okay. Let's get some advice. Okay. Because I do feel like you got to keep your eye on the prize here. Spirit, what is the advice for anyone who might experience something like this today? Okay. What is the advice here? We have the six of, uh, pentacles. Okay. Please do not be so proud where you cannot, where you do not ask for help. There is someone here that is willing to help you. If it's financially, if it's energetically, um, I feel like you have spent a, a lifetime helping others and it is time for those scales to balance out. Like you, it's time for you to get the help that you need. So don't be too proud to, to accept that help. Okay. Maybe because you are in this energy of look, I can do this on my own, or I've worked so hard to get here on my own. Um, it's okay to ask for help when you need it. Uh, because whatever this is, it's coming in like a shocker. It's more than what you have in some sense, where, wherever it's time, wherever it's money. Okay. Um, now in the reading that we did yesterday, someone had made a comment and I don't feel like, I don't think I responded to it. Um, but I'm going to respond to it now. Okay. Um, someone said, uh, it was like, okay, you've got a lot on your plate. You got a lot going on for yourself. You're really busy. You got a lot of responsibilities. It's time to delegate some of that. Now, they said to me, well, without any support system or without any, you know, how do, who do I delegate it to? Who's going to do these chores if not me? Or who's going to, you know, um, and I once read a book and, and it really, <laughs> I really, really took in this information because it was something that I hadn't thought of before. And this is where the, um, me saying like it's time to delegate some of these things comes from it's because it's because we can always we can always find a way right we can always find a way to take some things off of our plate now what I mean by that say you're like okay I don't I won't have enough time who's gonna pick up the kids who's gonna who's gonna uh, do the laundry who's gonna do the blah, blah 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 whatever it is right like I don't know what's going on for you in your world but there are people that you can hire to help you, okay? And you might be saying to me, Alicia, I cannot afford to hire someone to do my domestic engineering, or I, I can't afford it. You got to sit there and you got to weigh out what's important for you. Is your, your time more valuable or is it the money? How much time do you spend on these things and how much money could you be making doing something else? Like there's something here. Maybe it's time for uh, a, a personal assistant. And it, like it just it really just depends on your situation. I'm just throwing these things out there. And I'm saying that there are people out there to that can be hired to help you take care of things. Okay. Um, just for example, right. Um, 
I've gone through a lot this year, a lot of financial investments, a lot of things have changed for me with my income and things like that. And, you know, um, I, I, I ran into a similar situation where it was like, oh man, this is going to end up costing a lot more than I had anticipated. And I'm not making as much as I once did and things like that. You get worried. So you would think that, you know, naturally I would start to tighten that belt and really scrimp and really save and, you know, um, do things on my own. Well, uh, no, I need help as far as freeing up time and energy um, for, so that I can continue to do what my highest priority things are, which is, of course, running my business, taking care of my son, you know, making sure there's all, all kinds of things happening in my own home. And I'm always saying this, I, I decide, okay, I'm going to hire out uh, somebody to, to walk my dog, or I'm going to hire out someone who's going to come in and um, do a deep clean of the house every couple weeks, right? You got to sit there and look at your, what you've got, what's more important, prioritize, where is your time best spent, okay? Now, I know for some of you, this could be, you know, totally irrelevant because this could be in the love situation, okay? But it came out for those of you who perhaps need to hear it. Um, and I know I went on a little bit of a tangent there, but please don't be afraid to delegate to ask for the help that you might need uh, to get a loan so that you can do these types of things or whatever the case might be all right there is someone here who is willing to help you and willing to support you all you have to do is ask now going back to the fact that you have helped so many people uh, this is time for you to accept help from others okay so don't be scared please don't be scared to do it there are people who will help you manage this okay <laughs> there are people who will help you manage all right so that is the advice coming through and i don't really know if i should apply that to a love relationship or not i kind of lost the train with the love department but let's see Okay, actually, let's what what let me just specifically ask what the advice would be if this is for a love if this is a love situation for you. If this is a love situation for you. What is the advice? This would kind of be somewhat similar though because you know you're feeling like oh it's going to take up more time or maybe you know I, I might lose my focus because I'm feeling so in love or you know that kind of thing. When we are in love, we tend to kind of put other things on the back burner. We want to spend a lot of time with the person that we, you know, we want to be with, right? So I don't know. We'll see. If, what is the advice if this is um, someone being really excited about um, getting together with the person that they love? What is that advice here? The hangman? The hangman is surrender. Go with the flow. Surrender. Go with the flow, flow here. Okay, interesting. Um, the hangman also sometimes speaks to sacrifice, not really seeing the way forward just yet. Someone's, you may not have the answer right away. Um, you may have to kind of just see how it goes. <laughs> see how it goes. See what you can manage. See what you can, and then maybe go back to the drawing board. Yeah, because there's something here. It's like, I don't know why it feels like... If this was competition in a relationship, there's nothing much that you can do except for just be yourself and continue to do what you were always doing. Like it was okay. What is the outgoing energy here? I'm trying not to make it too confusing because we are reading about two very different things. Okay. <laughs> Talk about confusing and the seven of cups comes out. That's literally the energy of confusion. Great. Have I confused y'all? I'm so sorry if that's the case, but um, look at the end of the day, it's like, you might have this confusion yourself. You're like, you know, I don't know. Here's that fear. Here's that doubt coming through at the bottom of the deck with the nine of wands. Then we have the nine of cups. Oh goodness. At the end of the day, folks, you are going to have to make a decision whether or not you can handle this. I do feel like you can handle the, the surprise, the extra that is being you know, kind of like piled on you at the last minute, whether that is extra time you're going to need to spend, extra energy, extra money, whatever it is here, um, it's worth it to you. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to decide, you know, you might have these fears and doubts come in, whether or not you can handle it. I think you can. And I feel like, you know, you can um, as well. And so you are going to dig deep and you are going to, like I said, gather all your resources, gather all that strength, gather all that will and put your 
put your focus towards your goal and you will accomplish it. You will get the wish. You will get the dream. You will align with your happily ever after here. So it really is quite um, beautiful. So the, I, I guess the whole message of the day is, you know, try not to let uh, what seems like it's going to be a deal breaker. Don't let it break the deal. Don't let it break the deal for you because you will be able to manage it, even though it seems like, oh shit, I've bitten off more than I can chew. No, you haven't. You've got this. You've got this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give you some um, goddess guidance to close out this reading. You've got this. And then I'm going to give you some affirmations to work with as well. So what is the goddess guidance message coming through? Don't let this be a deal breaker. Please don't let it be a deal breaker because you have the power to get through this and there is someone here who is willing to help you. Okay, so we have divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What's your heart's true desire? That's what you are focusing on, okay? Um, you will get there. You will get it. <laughs> we have guiding children. So you're good at helping, counseling, healing children. Use your skills to help children now. If you don't have children, if you're not working with children, this is you healing your inner child, okay? You have everything that it takes, okay? And maybe that is something that maybe was uh, drummed into you as, as a child, or maybe there's trauma around being told you're not capable or you're not good enough or any kind of bullshit like that because you absolutely have every single thing that it takes to accomplish this dream, this goal, and what it is that you set your mind to. Okay, loves, you've got this. You're stronger than you think and you are just, yeah, you're on fire, okay? You're on fire. Don't let anything like that stop you. If you need to spend some time in meditation, if you need to spend some time near some bodies of water, that could help you. Uh, this says send, spend time near water, such as the lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. All right, and I just realized there was a glare on that. Sorry, folks. Oh, and look at this. At the bottom, of, underneath that, uh, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right, okay? And what you will, you know, stand up for yourself. Stand up for this dream. Stand up for, you know, what it is that you're trying to create in this world, okay? But it's, it's interesting because you start off your day and you start off this day with knowing and feeling very confident about accomplishing this and that you're maybe already celebrating me you're already in this energy of it's mine I've got this right um don't let this yeah don't let this be a deal breaker okay whatever that challenge however it shows up for you okay don't let it be a deal breaker okay so uh what is your affirmation here for our beautiful collective what is the affirmation for our beautiful collective here okay Okay, I turn every experience into an opportunity. I love this, okay? I turn every experience into an opportunity. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. All right, that's a beautiful affirmation to work with. I am sending so much love out to each and every one of you. If you're new here and you have not joined our tribe yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's free to do, and we really would love to welcome you in. Um, we do all kinds of readings here. We do love readings. We do divine feminine readings. I do sometimes read for cancer, the zodiac sign cancer. Um, we do general check-ins like this, and yeah, spiritual messages, all of the things, okay? And we're here on the Almost Daily. So um, yeah, we'd love for you to join us. Um, thank you for all of your love, all your support, all of your energy exchange, your likes, your shares, your comments. It really just it just makes makes my day to read your comments, loves, okay? Um, yeah, and I will see you in the next reading. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you have a blessed day. And remember, do not give up. You've got this. Take care. She said she don't kill me. Fight to the car to die. She said she don't love me. Fight to the car that wasn't in the deck. The car my finger touched. Think I got my wish. You know for sure when it's all done. She said she was a beautiful way.